and welcome. Welcome to a Monday morning vandal vlog. And I'm off to do a Facebook pickup. Why does my voice keep creaking? I thought my voice would have broken by now, but I guess not. So yeah, we're off to do a Facebook pickup. This is the first Facebook pickup in this van. Because I finally got my act together and uh, got my Facebook advert live again. And I've got business cards. Oh yeah, we're making games on vandal blocks. So the plan is, I'm going to get an oven, a cooker, double cooker, dingle thingy, oven, is it? I don't know, don't know the difference. I'm going to take a picture, I've already took some pictures of the appliance I've got on board. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the first exit and stay on wide lane. Right, and I'm going to shoot them over to the appliance guy, see if he wants them. See what he says, if not, they're getting scrapped and we're going to get weighed and paid, because this van is getting chocker block, and uh Dolly is buried. So let's hope I don't need it for this pickup. Right. I'll let you know more once I've got this oven. Exit the roundabout onto White Lane. Will do. In 300 yards, turn right towards White Lane A335. <laughs> Does she ever shut up? Right, that's that in the bag. Give me the oven, give me the top. I saw a little cooker on the way in. I'm going to get it. Yes, there it is. You can see it just to the left of the picture. That's going in my van. Well, I just went in B and Q there to get some work shirts and uh, I sent, I'll try to send them some pictures, but both the numbers I've got for them, they're not taking the text. So I phoned, it was an answer machine, so I've left the message, but... It's all right having an appliance guy, but... He needs to be ready to go. So yeah, I don't know, I'll give him another hour or two to get back to me. If not, we're just going to get it weighed. Because, uh... I'm not waiting around all day. I've got stuff I need to get on with. I've lost enough time already. Right, we're back. I've done some stripping out in the in the rear. So I've been trying to get hold of this appliance guy, but he's not getting back to me. Uh, I texted him at half eight. It's now nearly eleven o'clock. It's just costing me time. So I've made a bit of room. I've got enough space for two more appliances. So I'm just going to get in there move about whatever I can, break it down as much as I can. And we need to get scrapping. So like I said, I've got enough room for two more appliances. If he hasn't got back to me by then, then uh, we're going to get weighed and paid. Because I'm a couple of days beyond now due to my neck and that. And uh, I lost a half a day trying to get that shelf out. So we need to crack on. So let's go. Let's go and see what we can find on the way to the scrapyard. Just up here, I just passed the garage. I had a couple of alloy wheels stood up against the wall. So I'm going to pop in there, I'm going to give them my card, ask them if they want them scrapped, obviously. Or can I buy them? I'll give them a fiver each. Oh my god, there's a stainless steel sink there. What's going on? What's oh, just in here? Might well, hurt just to ask, would it? Say hey man, here's my card. Got any more scrap?
end up really cool and start playing in the house. Yeah, that works. Let me get some. Uh, you want the clap on it? Let me point this in. Well, that was worth a shot. Got a gearbox out of it. Sink. I'm sure I saw a sink. I don't know if it's stainless, what I presume it is. It's gonna do a bit of McCray around this corner, eh? He just gave me most of a gearbox. Uh, the, the alloys belong to a customer. But I said if he gets any more, I'll give him cash. All I've got to do is phone up the scrapyard, bring a little set of scales with me. I've got some posted scales that go up to uh, 35 kilo. A little scrappy bit there, isn't it? Let's grab this quick. sink there of some sort. A bunch of stuff here, I don't know if it's scrap though. risk. Oh, not worth the risk when it comes to kid stuff. A couple of bits and pieces. Any metal towels. Just in case, because you never know. Bloody trolley. Definitely some scrappy bits here. Not open the side gate, the side door. I mean, sorry, guys, I was punch you in the face. Some of them 
Rally. Steel. 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 Noisy foxes here. <laughs> Oh, not a ruddy push chair. I don't want another push chair. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. La, 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 la. Oh, it's not the, it's not the pots and pans type of day there, is it? Take them. I'll take anything. so far, nothing massive, but we've got something, let's carry on our journey. Oh, oh, oh. Let's carry on our journey to the scrapyard, let's hope my neck survives. At this rate, probably not. Oh, is that a little bit of, is that a scrappy bit there? That's a scrappy bit there. It's hardly worth getting out for, but you know, scrap dogs and all that jazz. Stay. <laughs> Leave no metal behind. Oh, hello. I'll take that and all. Yeah. Be my pleasure. Whether or not I can get the chuffing thing in it, though. There's another story. Um. more in so I'm going to make my way straight to the scrapyard and get weighed and paid so it should be just light iron and shearing going today I'll keep all the non-ferrous on board so I want to keep that for the end of the week still got a couple of microbes to scrap out still got two boilers to scrap out so I'm hoping for a nice payday for Friday or Saturday but for now we'll just go straight to the scrapyard and get this sorted out because it's going to take quite a while so I'll see you guys there.
crane porn. Oh yes. Oh yes. Noisy, what about him? One last scoop, that's all you're getting. Get it, mate. Woo. So we got weighed and we got paid. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be much because it was. Uh, it was sort of like one and a half washing machines. It was three tumble dryers and a couple of ovens, which were light. And once all the motors and that are taken out of them, it's pretty much helium steel by then anyway. But light iron, we only went in with 380 kilograms this time, at 140 pound a ton for 53 pounds and 20p. And shearing steel, we went in with 200 kilograms at 220 pound a ton for 44 pounds, which gave us a final sum of £97.20. So that was alright, that's alright for a Sunday morning. So I only went out Sunday morning, I didn't go out in the evening, and on the way to the scrapyard. So that's not too shabby. I've still got quite a lot of stuff in the back. Because uh, it was all mixed up. I've had to leave some light iron, I've left that in here. Motors. A couple of microwaves that I still need to scrap out. Uh, toaster. <laughs> Oh, my blinking jaw broke and all. Sink, that's uh, the glass that I've smashed the bits. Oh, can that be fixed? Oh, you bastard. It's a bit stiff, but I'll call that fixed. Boom, so yeah, I've got some light iron, microwaves, all this crap to clean up. This is just a mess. All right, I need to pull over somewhere and sort this out. I've also got a boiler in the back of Betty. A mountain of other stuff. Have you ever seen anything like it? Seriously, the state of it. Go home, have some lunch, tidy up, I reckon. So I'll just tidy it up now. Oh. <coughs> I've got all this stuff down here, some motors, transformers. All sorts of jazz. Right, we're gonna make our way, might as well make my way home and uh, get this van cleaned up because it is an absolute disgrace. I'll tell you what though. It is a B E A beautiful day. Right, let's go home and I'll uh, see what we can find on the way. Yeah! I don't know why I keep doing that. Right, there's a bunch of scrap here. I'm going to have to knock on the door. Could take a while. I'm going to see if I can have it. I'm afraid that's it for this one. We've got a few bits and bats. Bits and bats. Ooh. And uh, there's that uh, tap that I'll pick up or faucet or mix it up as we call it. Nice bit of brass in there, nice bit of copper. That must be, that must be two or three kilos on its own. It's got to be brass in it. Tidy that up, but let's have a look in the back. Check this mess out. Oh, 
noise. Some more motors, stainless steel sink. It's a bunch of stuff. That has got to be. Where's my magnet? Where's my magnet gone? No. Oh, I lost my magnet. Oh, well, it's in there somewhere. Stainless steel pot. This is all the stuff that I've pretty much just picked up, except for the microwaves and then push chairs at the front. Just pick that up. Don't know if that's sticky sticky or not. Doubt it. I've lost my blinking magnet. Yep, yeah, that's it. All sorts. It's aluminium. That's Ali. I'll crack these bearings off. Some fun taking that apart. Yeah, so that's it for this one. We've been weighed and paid, so I'm going to go home now. I'm going to tidy up this van because it is a disgrace to the scrapping community. I'm going to have some lunch and uh, we'll get back out later. So until then, be cool, be kind, and I'll see you wonderful humans next time. And hopefully there's no clickety clickety annoying noise on this video today because that was, oh, that really got under my skin. <laughs> anyway. See you guys later. Oh no, I oh know, I stole it from Hubnut. Oh no, I'm a loser. Sorry. Sorry, Hubnut. Sorry, Ian. <laughs>